was making announcement in church over 100,000 or so for camp, for convention, and the money was not coming in. I wrote a letter to him. I said, look, I'm tired of this announcement. Tell God to bless me and you never have to announce anymore. He didn't reply me. And my appointment was terminated. I went to show him the letter. I said, uh -huh. you have gotten the reply. I was angry. I said, reply for wanting to be a blessing to God. He said, how much is your salary? I told him 710 naira a month. He said, how many years would you save 100,000 naira from 710 naira? Go and start your own. I said, sir, you're a mathematician. You're not a lawyer. You don't know that there's private practice uh, decree that I couldn't start until I'll be five years at the bar. I was not five years then. But we prayed, and God asked me to start on October 1. And here comes Muntala, uh, General Muhammad Buhari on October 1, 1984. He said, Private practice decree abolished. That's how H and S chambers flourish. I remember clearly one of the things it did for me. Uh, the relationship between Pastor Debu and I could not be decoded by anybody except two of us. And there's so many misguided people who believe they lie for a long time. He had not spoken. Maybe he spoke to them privately. I refused to hold my peace because it's coming out in my memoir. The model parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm going to write on it for posterity's sake, and I'll write the fictions, the, the, the true facts, facts and fictions at the appropriate time. And I, I will do so by God's grace in his lifetime. And I send him a copy before I publish because there'll be no single lie in it. Many misguided people believe the lie. They didn't know exactly what transpired and what led to my living redeemed Christian Church of God. And I held it to my chest <laughs> because I want them to go and find it out in the book. But let me tell you this. One of the things I will never forget about Pastor Debody, when the chamber started and I began to do so well, a time came when we needed to expand. Do you know what he did? He brought the only document of the only house he owned on earth in Elisha. And he gave it to me to take it to the bank to borrow money to do my expansion. Now, I did not use it. I did not borrow money with that document, but I kept it with myself. Amazingly, I was shocked that any man on earth who is not my blood relation could do that to me. I will never forget his kindness. And in case you don't know, the first house I ever built in my life, I built on that campground. Uh, do you understand me? It, 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 tremendous man of love and man of faith, but still a man, just like me too. And those of you who are young ministers, I'm still young too, who think that you are, you are dealing with angels. No, it's not time for angels to preach the gospel yet. In the book of Revelation, they will preach the everlasting gospel. Right now, it is men. And the, men, the best of men are still men at the very best. Thank God for growth. Some of the things we didn't understand then, we understand now. And I think I will leave it there, except you have other questions to ask me.